Sundance Institute, it's mostly known for this, but it also hosts year-round labs for artists of various disciplines around the world. Most recently, the theater program packed up and shipped off to Morocco to establish an environment of creative engagement between American and Middle Eastern North African artists. Sundance sent a team to document the lab. Here's what they saw. beautiful Morocco. I have no tan because I'm always in my room writing, which is what I'm, you know, here to do. Bringing this play to Sundance has changed everything about my relationship to the play. It was interesting to know new people and to you know the way they are working. Well, I never meant to write this play. I was just sitting one day without really thinking anything and started writing this speech, which I realized as I was writing it was just my dad. My name is Max Posner, and I am from Brooklyn, New York in the United States, and I'm here working on my play, The Treasurer. It's about an adult a man in his 60s and his very complicated relationship with his ailing mother. And it's also really just about my father and his mother. And so uh, in a way, I feel like I've really tried to embrace that. It's a jumping off place for facing the timeline of life, which is that it only moves forward towards this thing we don't understand, death, we, do, we fear terribly, is everyone's destiny. And yet we all feel very alone about that topic. And so I've been just very inspired. When I talk to some of the Middle Eastern artists about my play and what it's about, it's a very, very fascinating conversation because the responsibility that one has to their parent, um, I think is very, very different. I'm s sensing that, you know, it's a very different moral universe maybe for them, what, what the play is about. اسمي أنا عكاش أنا من سوريا مشروع اسمه هنا بيحكي عن خمس نساء سوريات مختلفات ممكن فينا نقول الشرائح العمرية أو من منابت مختلفة when the war uh, started, it was very difficult and with the time uh, you get used to the war and uh, get used to the death. Uh, you know that they are bombing, but you are going out because you have work to do. So you began to, uh, to live a normal life in this unnormal situation. It's uh, too difficult to talk about my personal uh, experience uh, during the war, but the characters uh, of uh, this uh, script are uh, my relatives, my neighbors, my friends, uh, people who I know. And uh, death uh, surrounds us. <laughs> أنا يمكن يكون عندي كشخص عايش برات سوريا عندي علاقة أو موقف سياسي مختلف عن كيف عم يتوصف هذه العلاقة فبالتالي وباقي المشتركات كمان بالغرفة من الممثلات عندهم علاقات مختلفة مع الإشكالية السياسية اللي عم تطرح النص وعندهم مواقف مختلفة My name is Patricia Ione Lloyd, and I'm from Brooklyn in the United States. Eve's song is about a middle-class African-American family, and their house is being haunted by the spirits of dead black women, dead black girls, and dead black trans women that have been murdered by the police. And it's based on real stories. It really starts with why I wrote the project. I have a nice life, and I haven't always had a nice life. I was homeless when I was a teenager, and I didn't want anything in my mind that reminded me of how vulnerable it is to be black and female in the United States. And so I was 
consciously repressing any news. I saw the project Them, and they did this work with breath and feeling that went along with the text, which was so beautiful, and I found that the themes and the work that they were doing, I was doing too. There's this quote by Nina Simone that is an artist's responsibility to do this kind of political work. So we open the screen نتنفس كلنا وبنفس الوقت نعيد التفكير من خلال القصص الشخصية لأنه واحدة القصص الشخصية هي اللي بتخلينا نرجع نسائل كل السياسة. Well, and I hope in the end that the play makes people feel less lonely, and I hope that it could maybe turn something that's sort of terrifying into something that's part of a very shared experience.